Just kidding, next time on Cyberjax, we're gonna craft this shit, because you guys wanna watch us do, uh, quick action commands. Or quick time events, that's what they're called. You're gonna need more wood, more wood, dude. Go get some wood. No, dude, I just wanna blow the fuck out of this fire. <laughs> I just wanna blow it. Alright. Oh, dude, I'm fucking ready. With my spear. No, I don't wanna craft a spear, I wanna find more firewood. Oh, I mean, I gotta be really close to these fish. I, I think we're gonna need your help with the fish. Yeah, because I have to splash and scare them to you. Yeah, okay, I'm calm. I have to find... Well, catching fish doesn't do a shit right now if we don't have a fire. Well, you can eat fish raw. You'll just get really sick. Well, I mean, you, you, you can. Oh, I found some twigs. Yes. Uh... I was wondering how long I was going to fucking blow that thing. I'll blow it. <laughs> I'm going to need some more wood for the fire. Damn, how much fucking wood do we need? I'll help. Yeah, all the wood. I will help with the wood. Um... Like a porn star level of wood. <laughs> that's really fucking funny that you ejaculated in this office, dude. Yeah, that's that's a true story. I ejaculated in my middle school principal's office. Man, I was. But it was like super obvious board. that I did it. So like, like I like grabbed a bunch of paper towels and shit, and then I eventually came to the conclusion that I just had to spill my drink on myself. Yep, this sounds about right. So that's what Good I did. Idea. Is I just spilled my drink all over myself. Yeah, and I just, and what then happened? I just, it exploded. And then, I, but it's everything smelled like jizz. So, like, once I spilled my pop on myself, it made it better. But, mm -hmm. oh my god! All right, we got a fire. Um, when I discovered masturbating, it was a total, total accident. I was probably like eleven, twelve. Um, actually, more more towards eleven because I lost my virginity at twelve. I should be able so, like, to that's eleven. crazy. I never knew that. 11. That is very, very young. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 17, almost 18. Yeah, dude. See, the problem with me is, is I was raped, so I kind of didn't have a choice. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, that's... No, no don't that worry about it. changes things. I'm completely over it. It is what it is. Life happens, blah, 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 blah. Um, but what happened is uh, I was in, my, in, in, my, in the bathroom... Taking a, or taking a bath or whatever, right? A shower or a bath or whatever. But what I would do is I would let the bathtub fill up. And then I would I would lay in it and then let it slowly drain before I get out because it, it felt like you were like like weightless when you try to get out. Oh yeah. And it felt really cool. So I, I would do that all the time. Oh, we could just hang out by the fire. Cool. Let me go get my spear then. Um. So I w and then I decided you know what what I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up this this empty shampoo bottle. I gotta empty it out and pour it on myself because the hot water felt nice. Yeah. So I was just pouring on myself and eventually I got to my dick. I was like. Ooh, wait a second. So I kept doing it. And I just kept doing it, and I, I I fucking went at it for like 15 minutes. Eventually, I ejaculated, just from pouring hot water on my dick. That's awesome. Actually, it was so fucking cool. <laughs> I didn't have to touch it. And then I didn't actually start jerk like little uh, jerking off until I th probably until I got my own room because me and my brother were sharing a room at the time. So probably like at 12. Yeah, about 12 years old. I actually found out how to jerk off with a hand. Instead of trying to use a fucking bottle of empty shampoo in hot water. That was that was very interesting. Very interesting way to find out how to jerk off. What about porn? When did you see your first porn mag? If you have ever, ever seen one. Uh, yeah. I, uh, porn mags? I definitely saw porn. Like I watched porn before I had. A, I saw a porn magazine. Oh, okay. Like online? Uh, yeah. Well, no, not online. I went to go. Uh, I went to go do something. We rented a bunch of VHSs. This is back when VHS was like the shit. And we rented, <laughs> rented them from Blockbuster. Oh, man, I got one. Rented some fucking VHSs from Blockbuster. I'm gonna send them your way. You just yeah. keep stabbing the water. VHS is from Blue PC. And uh, I went to go return. It was, I remember exactly what movie it was. It was Johnson's Family Vacation. Damn, dude, it was close. Johnson's Family Vacation. What is that? Uh, a black people movie. Oh, okay. It's just, a, it's just a black comedy. It was very funny. Uh, it's got like Bow Wow, some girl named Vanessa who's very attractive. Nice. I wouldn't say that because you just like failed <laughs> multiple times. I watched the fish move over into your spear. Yo, <laughs> tractor beam. There you go. I couldn't see shit. My fat head was in the way. But uh, I went to go return. I went to go grab that because I was like gonna like put it in the box and like return it for them. And I don't know. I was like probably like 
10 or 11. Mm-hmm. Probably, no, it's probably like 8 or 9, actually. And uh, I went to go do that. And uh, yeah, I pulled it out and I was like, this isn't the that movie. So I put it back shit, in man. and immediately started playing. Well, you know, it is what it is. Like, and yeah. Just like they said, it is what it is. I, whip, I whipped my dick <laughs> out because I already knew what like. masturbating was. And well, I fucking yours? jerked it. <laughs> and then I used the to go in my parents' room about, like oh. five times a week well, it's not like we have and jerk off to their here. porn and just come yeah. all over their rug, rub it Why in with we, my foot, what are you and then rewind <laughs> the tape like perfectly. Damn, dude. Get get it in. Let's go. Holy shit. Man, I saw my first porn mega. I was like... 10 man probably like 10 years old these fucking kids yeah, they would hang out sure outside and uh, like down the street from me and they're, they're probably like yeah. 14 to 17 oh, years old and I they would just chill and hang out right they're the skater kids and they're hanging out on the street and shit <laughs> and we looked in this mailbox at this house that was abandoned and there's fucking poor mags in there like my group of kids that we were they were like 10 and they were like 17 or whatever and we found them we're just like what the fuck yeah, is this and we're going yeah. through this outside in the middle of everything we don't even we didn't care at all but then eventually one of them decided like let's, we gotta get rid of these and like, why we gotta get rid of this he's like we gotta get rid of them so he started stuffing them down the sewer and the sewer was just full of the poor mags it was pretty funny that's funny as <laughs> um I most interesting place I found a porn mag. Okay. Um, do you know the the old right. factory that they just turned into really high end apartments? Like they have like the Remington like restaurant the there and all that. Sounds familiar. I think I know what you're talking about. Right across the street from Dockside Inn. Arby. I think I think so. Right like right across the street from where they do the Canal Concert Series. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's literally yeah. It's like right there. It's like so like if you were. If like we were to headway. make a right instead of go straight mm-hmm. when so we drive to your house, out. when we go over the bridge in NT, yeah. my brother. it would be like right there. Okay, That's right the there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, before they redid everything, a bunch <laughs> of years ago it. when I was in high school, me and a bunch of my friends actually oh, shout out, you know, to Ryan, who I gave a shout out to before. What's up, Ryan? Because he owns like all these guns and shit now and he's a fucking badass. When we were little, we broke into them. And we were we were walking through everything, wow. and we were like going all the different That's levels and shit, that. cause like, uh, and apparently that was a really popular place to party, cause there was like Sorry. a bunch of like liquor bottles and shit everywhere, like solo cups. So, uh, Ooh. so apparently that was a pretty popular off. place to party. But we had broken Fuck in there, over, and we were shit. walking around like doing dumb shit, and we went into one of the we bathrooms, and what? there was just like three that? different porn magazines. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I thought you were gonna say there was three different hookers there. No, I they're wish. all dead. That would have been <laughs> fucking better, because you, you know what? A dead hooker still works. You know what I mean? Oh, Man, that fucking eyeball. Just mm. suck it up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> dead, <laughs> dead hookers are willing to do do shit that alive hookers would never do. Mm-hmm. Like, let me fuck your belly button until I'm in your large intestine. I'm gonna fuck you in the nose. No lube, just blood. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't think blood would work that well as lube. I don't think so either. Now I'm thinking about it. <sighs> you know what does work? Like but lube, though. Did you guys jerk off, though? No, 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 no. Okay. No one touched themselves inappropriately. So used to work in a bank, I huh? took the porno mags and uh, I well, used them until I my current you girlfriend back in the day uh, decided I didn't need them cat. because I now had her. Thanks for the uh, okay. You're and uh, I love finding cum dumpsters. That's, you know that's how that what? went. Oh, yeah, and what, did you throw them out when you had a lady? Yeah, I did. I uh, I kept them for like probably that. a solid like because I just got rid of them like two or three years ago, and I found them when I was like fifteen. Damn, dude. Yeah, so I had them for Holy a while, shit. and I did there. not, I did out. not, you know, not use them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It was, I only, I really only used them because like you know the internet. I would much rather you know hear the sounds and see the Give sights. Me a hand, Leo. I've uh, so I would only watch them if like my internet wasn't working. <laughs> I've never uh, never jerked off to a porn mag in my life ever. Oh yeah, I did. I used to jerk off to the my old school yearbook and actually ruined one because my favorite thing was to pikaki the picture of like the hot teacher that I was jerking off to, <laughs> and now I can't open half of my fucking yearbooks <laughs> from like middle school. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't do it to like my high school ones. Like my high school ones are fine. Like I grew out of that, but like. For a hot minute when I was in middle school, that was my favorite thing to do was like bukkake all the teachers that I liked. Don't you worry, honey. Those two fools come around here. They'll get a taste of it. Because it was really embarrassing, actually. Oh, when, it, Smith. Oh. When, I was, when I was cleaning my room uh, to move out, I forgot about it. And like I pulled them out of my closet. And like my mom walked in and she was like, oh, you have yearbooks. And like she went to go open it. And she was like, oh, you must have got water on them. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. 
Mossed up. <laughs> Fawn over there. Oh my yeah. god, no. We release the horses. We release the horses. How's that gonna help? Trust me. Fuck, man. They'll be forced That's to a true story. Back. That's pretty embarrassing. That's right? hilarious. That's, that is a that real is thing. That's fucking happen. hilarious. Okay. Uh, subdue couple. Subduce. You want us? You want us to do to do some? I say release the horses. Yeah, I also agree. To, that's a that's a solid distraction. Sure, yeah. whatever, man. Let's try. It. My guys' options okay, are all. Always... <laughs> so far, I've been horrible. Yeah. Two two out of two have been horrible. Sean Penn not not doing well. <laughs> Crap. I can't believe you don't know who Sean Penn is. Oh yeah. I just, I just don't know oh, actors' fast, names. Fast Times at Ridgemont High I mean, is the name horses, of the movie man. I couldn't think of earlier. So he plays Sp Spicoli, Spicoli, dude. What else should they have? Still, dude, that's an so iconic sure. movie. Live a little, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm not a movie person either, dude. Yeah, fuck my really asshole. <laughs> Sideways, dude. Like, you are uncultured swine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It's, it's me in a nutshell. I just dude. don't have the patience to sit down and watch a movie. Are you kidding me? That's my favorite thing to do. I gotta be in the mood for it, you know? Nah, you know what I was doing before you came and picked me up? Jerking yourself off. I, I started Superman the movie. It's my 99th time <laughs> watching it, but I love that fucking movie with Christopher Reeve. Oh, we're not going in there. Mm. Let's Horses. make love to the cows. Hey, baby, you want some fuck? No. Uh, sucky, sucky, oh, fucky, cool. fucky. Fucking. Oh, uh, ladder. Easy. I'm an idiot. Ladder. Got it. So we're on top of the ladder? We probably climb in here, right here. Yeah, right up there. Um. Next time I Cyberjacks, we're gonna climb up in this bitch, and then and fuck some horses before we release them. Hell yeah, MC Goondick style. <laughs> MC Goondick style? Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh my god.